Hello, I'm your son. I'm usually talking about uh, stuff that you half uh, practical and half uh, spiritual. In this one, I wanted to call it the continuum of the high art, the continuum of the high heart. And I am provoked to do it After I watched the video we, earlier today, where an artist uh, said she was not going to share of her art anymore. So, I wanted to come with perhaps another uh, solution to this situation. And the idea is that if there is an art market here, it is established, it was established many years ago by what we call now the Cabal. The Cabal was some bizarre quality that they, some of them have at least, that we know of. They have an entire asylum of people who perhaps are the most appreciative of art. in this vicinity, in this part of the galaxy, in this part of the solar system at least. They are the best, they are the most dedicated entities to materials. They will do anything to get this shiny little gold stone over there. They will travel distances in the space to rob people of their gold and of their other treasures. And these are the same people who created, who took over the land actually. Those are the same people who pushed their brothers and sisters and family and nation off the land with guns to own it all and to call themselves queens and governments and to have an army. So this is the people, the cabal that are what we call absolutely corrupt, corrupt to its core, created in corruption. So they show us the highest level of dedication also to high art. And you can see works of art being carried from all parts of the world to the Vatican to be analyzed, to be studied, to be kept, to be stored underground. So they have great appreciations also for what we call uh, modern art. And uh, modern art in the modern time, let's say starting from the 15th century and on, where artists became a profession, 
or where art was starting to show in big uh, churches. Great artists did great works on walls. The church liked their story of creation, the, the biblical story to be illustrated visually. And they like, I mean, they really supported the beginning of the big collections, the big museums. <clears throat> museums, I think they started in buildings similar to churches. They were kind of museum is in, in, in a sense a sacred uh, shrine for, for whatever you you look, look at high art as a source of uh, inspiration a source of spiritual life so that was a long sentence wasn't it sure So what I'm saying here is that the cabal has established the market for the art, what I call high art, because not all art values equally to others. Some arts are obviously worth more and do way to tell is also by the traditional uh, guiding guidelines of what they consider to be i art also goes very well with our natural sense of quality so if the cabal mentioned or mention certain artists and then show them and then invest in them in them many times by stealing of their work and managing their life. So they were investing in them when the first recognition started from the market into the artist's life. The artist's life was completely changed because now he was uh, traded his value was traded. So there is also recognition in this market, in this cabal dark market, there is a recognition to the value of the artists. And there is a recognition to the value of high art. High art. So it's all been established. Now you look at the audience. And been many people who come for the 16th chapel in Rome, in the Vatican, or those who travel to the greatest museums, whether in Russia or in Holland, in France, in Spain. And also in the United States, it is, there are great museums everywhere, in fact. There are great museums in Switzerland. There are great museums in, everywhere in Africa, African art. There's great work, lots of great work coming out of Africa. And great art, you know, you have also in old times, you know, they were uh, investigating into the hieroglyphs in Egypt or other Sumerian texts and, in, you know, study into basic shapes, studying into geometry, into um, I don't know, you call it in English, but it's the... Uh, anyway, art was very, sub, very established as worthy, as a valuable uh, commodity, 
for a poor level of uh, a big market uh, that is partly ruled by the cabal, but then you have so many uh, collectors, so many people who have bought, bought art. So eventually, if you look at the wider span, wider stretch of this phenomenon, so you find great pieces of art in, in forms of prints uh, circulating, even, uh, but the hardcore of art uh, audience are those families who have purchased art through the history. So this is, this group, I wanted to actually dedicate this video to them because if you take the the cabal out of the game and they don't handle the treasures the spiritual treasures of humanity as they used to so they take your their hands off the the art and you are remained in a society where there are lots of lots of people who live in very lucrative houses, very decorated, very beautifully decorated with great art. And they also have a collection maybe that sometimes they pick this picture or that the other pictures, sometimes they want to buy uh, another art, piece of art, a new piece of art. So I believe in my, also from, I believe that there are many of this group and I know for myself of my art that I did, I think I sold over 500 or perhaps more and maybe, yeah, I keep it at 500 to just, you know, and not getting get into counting just makes my mind goes wild if I have to go back and do that recovery of memory. But in in fact, the people who bought of my art, the five hundred and then another hundred that works that were actually stolen, and this also gives some value if you think about it this way. So eventually you have, uh, I believe, enough uh, reason to believe that once the system collapsed, this, those people who were interested were dedicated audience and who invested in art, in high art, they are here and they're not going anywhere. And they're still building beautiful uh, houses, they still buy art, they still um, want to make great shows, very beautiful shows, just the excitement of it, because it's so uplifting. So what I'm suggesting is, instead of uh, leaving the, the internet because uh, uh, the art market kills uh, the, the currency, the, 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 the movement between the art lovers and the great artists because the system is cut off by the system. The kit system cuts off in all these two groups and manage them, the artists, to this corner of the miserable and the buyers to where they will deal only with a certain close uh, number of works, no more. But in my case, and I know many other artists uh, sell, sold during the time, I see people sell art, so I believe they are there is a great interest in the public. So now you have uh, combined with it. I just take a small breath because it becomes a lecture. Combining with it, the thing that you will have uh, uh, 
the quantum uh, uh, internet. If you learn how you quantum internet work, you'll find that it is not only the big sharks are not there, but the artists and the audience are pretty much left to find each other. So I suggest for great art makers, you know, for dedicated artists who have not uh, completely drawn out from it, like myself, to uh, go to the next phase, you know, start their uh, projects, start their schools, uh, start their printing factories, if you like, and, and, or whatever media that is uh, applicable. I'm not sure prints will be applicable. Maybe other forms of technology, maybe other forms of art. Uh, when I'm saying making new museums, uh, museums are uh, places that people will, will still come in. They don't care, uh, you know, they don't sign off with the cabal to go to their institutes. You could have, make yourself a museum. In an, art, in an art center for yourself and for a few friends. And I think that uh, if you are compensated for it and if you're getting for it, what you, the life, the style, the lifestyle and the, perhaps the wealth that you, that this deserves. So you must uh, draw out a plan to, you know, uh, allow these things to manifest and build a new uh, concept about what is the world of art. That is more, is closer to the spiritual model than to, uh, to the idealistic model, if you like. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the idealistic model is is created when the free internet, the free quantum internet, uh, starts, that kicks off. So now I see myself. Okay, so see how I title this video. Thank you for watching, I'm your son. I'm um, dedicated to art and to artists and to the spirit of the free spirit of the artist. So, thank you for watching.